Well, hello everybody. Um, today I'm uh, going to be discussing a uh, commentary that I saw on uh, YouTube, which really touched me, and I really thought um, it would be something good to share with, um, well, English-speaking people or English-speaking. Mexicans that maybe don't understand uh, Spanish. Um, it's really a sad thing uh, that uh, the media uh, is blacking out um, the splendor of what is going on in Mexico right now. And um, I felt I had to I had to uh, expose it. One of the things uh, that I was watching today, um, I, I try to watch the AMLO vision. Um, uh, it's a Manu Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador uh, Conferencia Presidente, uh, which is the live uh, conference every day, uh, which, by the way, um, is unheard of. You know, to have someone um, speak of uh, of what's going on in the nation and, and letting the people know what's going on. Um, you know, uh, sharing with them and, and asking their their input and and uh, taking them into into consideration when it comes to the affairs of the state and. Uh, so the, the thing is, I found this, this video and it was quite by accident. It just happened that the other video I was watching ended and then these guys came on. And uh, some of the things that they said um, really uh, hit a nerve with me. Not that they said anything bad. In fact, they were also outraged at what's going on with the, uh, the news. Um, you know what they're what they're doing, how they're how they're leading uh, the people like sheep to slaughter, so to speak. Um, but anyway, um, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put them on, and then stop it periodically and uh, translate. Um, oh darn. Okay, it looks like, <laughs> okay, all right, so there, now he's introducing uh, this uh, gentleman who's uh, known as the Cubano, which is the Cuban, and uh, also known as the Poeta del Silencio, which is uh, the Poet of Silence or regarding silence or something to that effect, but you know, the, like he expresses uh, what he says in silence, it's, which is really interesting. But uh, in any case, uh, he said a, a poem, which I found really touching. And I hope that they will uh, reach out to me and let me know that it's okay to use his poem in um, something I'm writing. Um, and uh, if he does, that would just be awesome. Um, but anyway, uh, I will I will reach out to them. But in the meantime, I, I do want to let you know that um, he uh, um, that uh, that this, well, he's going to say a poem. But also uh, before that, they're going to show you some of the um, uh, like portions of the video that uh, I believe was from uh, yesterday morning because Manuel, uh, the president, AMLO, you know, let's just say AMLO because he's got a very long Mexican uh, name. It's Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. Uh, so everybody affectionately calls him AMLO. And, um, and I'll do that uh, from here on uh, as of today. In any case, um, uh, they're going to be talking about 
what's going on in the press in regards to the uh, conference, the video conference that the president uh, gave yesterday, which is um, always available on YouTube every day. Um, of course, it's live and people can make commentaries, call in. There's like, I mean, a really interaction, you know, to, to have an interaction with the president is, is also uh, quite incredible. But anyway, so um, he, um, these gentlemen are going to be talking about something, and I'll stop it from time to time to, to let you know um, uh, kind of what it means, you know, because you'll, I think I forgot the translation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I meant to put on the uh, translation there, and apparently I didn't. So I'm going to have to uh, do it myself. Okay. So they're saying I'm gonna, we're going to speak in this time about that um, attack that has been, um, you know, done unto um, AMLO because he was referring to poverty and mentioned, you know, about how animals cannot be asked to feed themselves. Oh my goodness. Um, where they're using this um, to, 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 they use these words, which he was talking about how people need to be provided for um, in, in the sense that the people were poor and sometimes would only get like one um, meal a day. So here he is talking about how when you, in the in, talking about um, fishing, people put out the uh, uh, saying, you know, don't don't give away the fish, teach a man to fish. How many times have we heard this? Um, so surely, you know, you can teach them how to fish, but the but justice is also to teach the the poor people and and um, even to to know that even that even animals have um, emotions. It's been demonstrated. You can't say to your pet, "Okay, now go go figure out how you're gonna eat." You have to give it to them. You have to give them their their uh, daily meals or their nutrition, but in the concept of the neoliberals, they they just call that like you're being paternal, and everything was in a quote system, like like if a person uh, or quota. Uh, that if a person was poor and they had a problem, they couldn't even afford to have an operation. Because even if it was in a public hospital, they still had to pay five or 10,000, 15,000, 20 even. But from where? Where would the poor people get that money to have that operation? And. And, and the same uh, with the food at um, school, you know, like not all the children had money to buy food. So he provided food anyway. So here now they have this campaign, which they're saying that he's not capable of governing. That if you're rich, you're a fifi. And that if you're poor, you're a, mas a mascot, which they, is the word they use for pet. But, you know, they were explaining that that it's a very uh, informal uh, language that he was trying to explain how the people uh, need to be um, helped. Um, just like you would help a pet, you know, you because it's at their... It, it's at their reach to, to give it to them. And like to, to make sure that someone can have the, the medical uh, treatment
treatment operations that they need and or also you know food their daily meals kids in school to have their meal even though they're poor he's giving the people hope we want they changed what the focus of what he was saying this dirty attack taking the the uh, pardon me I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this for a minute um, anyway so they were talking about how um, here Amlo is you know just trying to clarify why it is that he has um, provided um, you know the the money and uh, you know the free uh, meals to to the students and um, you know there's there's kind of like a stipend and grants and everything so that children can um, have what they need to to go to school and, and free meals should be included in education and that education is is uh, a right not um, what was the word he used that it wasn't just something like an inheritance for the elite, but that it was actually um, a right for the people to have an education. Um, anyway, so that's what it, they were uh, talking about. And so anyway, um, they're now discussing um, how this other lady, um, um, it looks like Rufina Cruz, made um, a statement saying I'm respectful but regarding the um, uh, talk that he had uh, uh, regarding Spain and also calling uh, people little animals uh, to the vulnerable etc um, that it's that he felt that it was uh, uh, a imprudent or prudent was it a prudent thing to say about the people and, um, and then she asked what's your opinion on this um, but anyway that's the one they're discussing right now which I'm going to start again So this is the petition that she thought was, um, this is the <laughs> the uh, petition that she thought was prudent to, to consider that um, because he said those things about the people, you know, being um, left without uh, their basic necessities, that, um, that they, the corporate press has um, put this out on their on their uh, news that they need to uh, con the national or they need to consult national uh, analysts to solicit medical um, attention and psychological capacity or men the the mental capacity of of AMLO like if he's crazy for saying that uh, people are in, uh, entitled to food um, just as uh, an animal and uh, you know that uh, that your pet not saying that the Mexican people were pets of course but that the way the government was preventing the people from having um, even the bare necessities enough money for food or uh, even lunches at school for the children and things like this um, was what he was referring to because that is what he has instituted. He has instituted that um, all the uh, children uh, will get meals in, in school and uh, also that um, they'd be, they'll be getting grants and they can go even up to the uh, college level with um, grants and, and uh, free education and uh, I mean, he's putting it in action. He's not just talking about it. He's actually doing something with his presidency, you know, to help the people. And that's what he's explaining that that he's 
that he's doing that to help the people. In any case, I'll go, uh, I'll put it back on. It's very offensive. It's a, a it, disrespectful to all these people that are doing that. I usually don't like to compare. And I'm going to say in the Bible that talks in Matthew 6.26 where it says a comparative uh, text. So notice that the um, birds in the sky um, provides for the birds in the sky that they don't have to, um, that God provides for even the birds in the sky, that won't he provide for you. And that's not, that's not an offensive thing to say. It's just saying that if God provides even for the animals, you know, why won't you provide for the people? That even animals have, have um, you know, the rights to, to have food and, and their needs met. Have you been, have you been concerned all this time about uh, giving um, food to the poor and, and pr making sure that they were provided for when you were in, in office? Apparently not. Okay, so here they try to say, this lady, uh, Frida Garcia, um, muy sufrida, uh, well, who's apparently saying um, this statement, that yes, we're all animals for sure, but AMLO said that these poor people are little animals and mascots or pets. Um, and then she highlights mascots or pets. Um, and then she's trying to say that AMLO should ask for forgiveness for saying that, when in fact, he was simply saying that that even pets are provided for. Why are the people of Mexico not being given the same opportunities? In any case, let me uh, restart it. So that was an ugly, um, you know, lack of respect. And, and that's how we see them open our eyes and hear the, the close your ears to these false comments. So here you can see that um, it says that um, AMLO is one of the most accepted um, uh, presidencies. Uh, we are third, uh, where it talks about uh, the people um, that love their 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 leaders, and um, apparently the Philippines loves their their leader eighty one percent, Portugal. <laughs> loves their leader, 71% uh, and Mexico loves their leader, 67%. Uh, uh, um, and actually the numbers are, are much higher than that when you look at his approval rating when uh, he goes on YouTube on a daily basis, it's usually around 99% approval. Um, and I'm talking thousands of people on a daily basis. But in any case, um, this one says, that the opposition um, has um, doubts about him, and yet um, it's evident everywhere you look. So that's a, the, number three with the most, um, he's only been in, um, in in uh, his position for uh, four months, and he is one of the most beloved uh, presidents.
and everyone understands or should understand that it was used as a comparable uh, example of, of how the words were used to describe how, how people um, even care about their pets. And so they're saying, who is it that is protesting this so strongly? Well, it's the rich people, and it's the people that they had nothing uh, to lose. They, they've never suffered the hunger and, and all the things that the poor people are suffering. But so anyway, they're ending this video, and uh, he does have this poem um, which he wants to um, tell to the people. And this poem which he wrote... It, it encompasses everything that we've just talked about. So I'm going to let him say it in Spanish without interruption. And then, um, um, hopefully there's sound on this actually. Um, Okay, so something happened here with this video, and this is very frustrating. Okay. So I'm going to put it back on. I'm going to put it back on one more time. And I'm going to translate this time. Okay? And I'm going to pause it when I want to stop and say what it what it says, okay? They say my friend Obrador, that you are the enemy of the working people. They say, my friend Obrador, that your transformation is as untrue as the kisses of the unfaithful lover. They say, amigo Obrador, so many horrible things about you without taking notice that you are one of those men's, men <laughs> that are um, uh, willing to die facing the sun without taking your eyes off of its splendor. This I say, my friend Obrador, who has had the fortitude to allow himself every morning be uh, crucified with words with bad intentions. This say I, my friend Obrador, that even so, they question you, even though you give them the right um, to even pull at your skin to those ignorance with paper and pen. Tell me, that now this part I'm going to replay because it was a little bit hard for me to
tell me. Um, and then he's saying, uh, the, the people, the people, um, my, my friend, the, my friends, the people of, well, I guess like the people of the country. Which son of your land? Okay. So So which son of your land gave you permission to share 